So here's the next part of our discussion. And everything. And could, I just couldn't, and I'm, I'm pro, pro choice. I mean, I believe, you know, your body, your choice. But I just, I couldn't do it um, because this, I, I was in love with my fiance and I was in, I, I was already in love with this like the tiny little cell that was in my body. I wouldn't call it a baby at that point, but you know, um, the, the idea of, of a baby, um, I was already in love with that. So I got off the table um, and the, 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 I think the biggest, the big mistake that I made was that I lied to him. So when I got back Who, home, what, the, the boyfriend or that boyfriend's father? My fiance. Um, right. When I, when I got home from the clinic, um, I lied to him and told him that I had gone through with the abortion. That was a big mistake that I made. Um, so fast forward a couple of weeks and I have morning sickness now and I'm vomiting my guts out. Um, and he came into the bathroom and, you know, relieved that I was still pregnant, but hurt that I had betrayed him, you know? Mm. And, and he was just like, you know, we'll, we, we'll figure this out. Like, we're going to figure it out. And so I went to school because mm. I was in college at the time. And when I got home that night, his, he had told his dad that I was still pregnant and they changed the locks on the house. That you and he shared. Mm -hmm. What was the situation with your parents? So my parents got divorced when I was 10. Right. Um, my, uh, my adopted dad, yep. um, I that he was adopted them, but my adopted dad um, was at the time full blown alcoholic. And my mom had already been uh, abusive, extremely abusive. Um, so, but I did find a payphone and I called her and I was just like, uh, you know, we've had a fight. I didn't tell I was pregnant. You know, We've had a fight. Um, the wedding is off. I need to come and stay with you until I figure some things out. And so she loved having that power and control, you know. So she was like, fine, you know, come home. Yeah. So I was working, going to school, um, trying to stay out of her way and out of the house, like as much as I possibly could. And then when she found me throwing up in the bathroom. It was just like the same scenario. It was like the same exact scenario. So when my mom uh, found me, you know, throwing up in the bathroom, she was like, you know, I knew you were pregnant. She called me all kinds of horrible names. And then she, she was like, you have to have an abortion. And uh, I was like, no, I've already gone down that road. I'm not, I'm not doing that. And, and she, is a narcissist. She's she's been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, and they copy the hurt that we've lived through before mm -hmm. to like double devastate us. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to school, and so, I came home at night. And yeah. <gasps> they love changing the locks, don't they? People you yeah. knew. So Rachel Beck has uh, arrived on the scene. Rachel, hello. Allison, that was so deep. Oh, I'm so sorry for what you've been through. Hi, my name is Rachel Beck, and it's lovely to meet everyone. Brilliant. Now, I explained uh, in the intro, you, you won't see, um, that you and I were connected because I'm mixed race and was adopted into a white English family. You're of what? Indian Her descent. Born Indian India. heritage. Yes. Into a white Jewish family. Yes, sir. Yep. So the question that Alison was um, relaying um, quite traumatic experiences is the idea that mothers give up their children. And the book that you told me to read, The Primal Wound, 
I put it off and off and off, and then I read it. Come back for the next part of this discussion.